like rhubarb? Let me in. Wait, 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 what, wait, what? Roblox Twitter is mad at me. Quite honestly, I could say I don't know why, but I do know why. But I don't know why they're mad for the reason they're mad at me for. So, yeah, I, I don't know whether I know why. Basically, a few weeks ago, you guys will know um, about the event that went on with the Roblox Zara Larson concert. You can see, you can still see I streamed it on the channel, even though people have rioted against that whole stream. You can see my videos got more dislikes than likes. Thanks to the ad revenue. But honestly, it doesn't bother me. These people went off on Twitter because basically with the concert, I said it was rubbish. It was. If you take a Lil Nas X concert, for example, with the sick screen and stuff, you know, got the three dimensional scanning and just the whole epicness of the, the kind of like the production. Production was good. However, with this, it was just a video. This could have been done as a premiere on YouTube. This didn't have to be done as a Roblox event and to be hyped up to waste all our time. Because ultimately, whilst these Zara Larson stands don't understand the fact that this wasn't for the community, this is purely just a cash grab for her. Like, honestly, for Roblox on their part as well, you know, Roblox isn't fine here. Roblox did this for the money as well because their stocks go up, their income, I guess, goes up because of the in-game items that fans would have bought. And yeah, it's, it's just quite honestly, the event was sham. Symbolic. And a lot of people were saying about how she wouldn't have been able to perhaps go and get the scanning and stuff like Lil Nas X did because of the times. However, the world's actually getting more normal now. Like, the, the world has been getting a lot better in terms of, you know, travel, stuff like that. The Lil Nas X concert was back in the thick, the thick of when the, the world was going mental. So now more than ever, whilst Lil Nas X I think is in the US already, she could still have done something. It's just an excuse. Quite honestly, they could have waited it off. The production of the event in general was awful. The game was well made, but the event was awful. Like, the, 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 <laughs> the, the, the coolest thing we had was some beach balls. Quite honestly, that, that was about it. And in the event, maybe I was a bit disrespectful. Like, in the event, I was there, like, you know, is she really that talented? That that was wrong of me. That was wrong of me because, of course, she is. You know, she wouldn't have a following. If anyone could do it, anyone would do it. But, yeah, I, I do take that back. But with the whole shenanigans about me saying something about auto-tune, I read out my chat when I stream. I engage with my viewers. Somebody took a clip out of context of me reading the chat. Someone in the chat went, oh, we love a lot of auto-tune. I was just reading out my messages, just read them out loud. I don't even think about what I'm saying. Maybe I should. Maybe that's, again, something for me to improve on, you know? Something to take out of this. It is partially my fault for saying this, but even so, you can see the context. If, if context is given, what I said isn't wrong. And this is purely just her taking what I said out of context. I was reading the chat, it's like, oh, we love a lot of autotune. I was looking here, and you could see, and she was like, oh, not this musty teen boy saying, so I'm gonna use a lot of autotune. Nobody cares, oh, I say nobody cares. People cared, and quite honestly, it's just, it's just funny. My Twitter DMs blew up, and whilst I'm joking about it now, at the time, I was so angry and sad. It was just like, why, why, why do they care? But they cared, and yeah, ugh. And even to this day, I get the occasional message every few days, of a notification of someone liking one of their tweets. They're like, I don't like, and they just at me, like, ugh. God, these people, these people, they're definitely underage for Twitter. I had a DM conversation with one of them, which I will keep private because quite honestly, if she is ever, I'm just not gonna expose her like that. But honestly, it's just ridiculous. They're probably gonna see this video. If they see this video, like, I'm sorry for the bad stuff I said, but you did overreact. And I get that a lot of you are probably under the age of 10 years old. So, you know, I've got to be careful what I say. So, you know, I can't just go, you. Like, th that's just not allowed. Ugh. Anyway, moving on with some extra stuff. This is not a normal video. I just thought it is quite funny what happened. And I thought I'd share it with you. There's not much else to say on that topic. You know, Zara Larson loves rhubarb. As you can see here, I've, I've got this wall recently. It, it looks rubbish. If you were there like, Oh my god, I think this looks so cool. Just just to try and make me feel good. It's not finished. 
this is just built. This is not together. This needs to get painted. This is going to get like all painted over. So it's going like, to like, look like a normal wall. And I'm going to put some cool stuff on, you know. I've got these nano leaf things. Let me go get them. If you've ever seen nano leaves before, you'll know like how they work. For these like triangle LED panels that piece together. I've got 15 of these. I'm going to stick up there. It's going to be pretty cool. So yeah, I've got like loads of these. That's something that's going to be coming. And for those of you that are still watching and who truly are interested in what's going on with the channel, with the Guinness World Record series, maybe something's happened. Maybe. Maybe set reminders for the 18th of June. Maybe that's a good idea. But yeah, honestly, something big is going to happen. 18th of June, I'm pretty sure. It's not locked in yet because there's a lot that needs to go behind the scenes, which I might not get done by then. Like, it's ridiculous how much work I have to do for that. But, but yeah. That's all really. Ultimately, these Zara Larson stands are jokes. They're, they're, they're literal joke men. I don't know why they did it. They, they just came for me. Please, just... If if you if you, any of you are watching this, just don't do it to anyone else. I don't care. But there are definitely people out there who would care. And who would either be upset and actually get like... You know, you could cause like major like problems for them. You know, they might be you know, insecure or something, they could just get angry. They could just throw their toys out like pram and just hunt you down and like dox you or something. I, I, I don't know, maybe that's a bit extreme, but yeah, I'm just saying, please don't do it again. Cancel culture isn't good. And especially if you're canceling someone because they don't like rhubarb.